Hi everybody, um, so it's been a couple of days since the Destination Eurovision final ended and um, of course the Czech Republic artist, well winner of their selection is going to be announced this morning as well but I'm just waiting for that. So I've decided I'm going to record my reaction to the winner's performance um, of the said final. So um, Bilal Hassani um, won the contest with the song Roi and it, for, for a while it looked as if um, he wasn't going to touch it but then uh, in the televote he literally won by a landslide and I think he finished with 200 points overall and there was about a 50, about 50, between 50 and 60 points gap between um, be, between the winner and uh, second place which ultimately went to Simone um, it was, I was hoping to win if not then I was hoping for Manuel who of course finished fourth overall and of course lorries always insist that they, they uh, come up my road for some strange reason Anyway, so this video is me just reacting to the winner's song and then um, giving a few thoughts and then scoring it um, as we go along. Chanson numéro 7, Roi Bilal Hassani. And immediately I can imagine half of his fans were in that studio. Not the outfit. It's not something I'd wear, but it looks looks good on him. I think that's probably one thing that does need to be improved between now and May and that is just just needs a bit more power in that voice toward in the chorus but other than that I think he's fine He's already got a choreography there, he's got the stage presence and that's that's already one tip um already one thing off the ch of the uh, checklist. Only God can judge you and me. So come on la pashwazi. On choisi son travail, sa coiffure, ses amis. Now some people were arguing about having that screen up to the side and that displaying the um, the childhood videos and stuff how it shouldn't be there but I think that should feature in the performance Yeah, a bit more power there, I think. Especially on the higher notes. Just needs a bit of more rump in it, and I think that would help. Now, overall, I had below as, I think, my third of the night. Um, in my pre show as well. Um, I had him as my third place, but I want to say congratulations to him regardless. Um, he managed to pull it off and my prediction was that he was going to win not maybe by a landslide but 
um, he was going to win it regardless. Um, I think, um, honestly, I, um, I know he has a huge amount of fans and I think that may have played a part in it, but regardless, um, congratulations for God, um, at the same time. Okay, so, um, the good bits. The choreography is already there and that, and it already, and having that, um, having that sort of uh, screen behind him and that tells a lot of the story, um, especially if you don't understand the French parts. Um, but having that also, having that mix of English in there works um, because it gives people a rough idea about what uh, the song is about. And I think the the alternation during the song between, the, that transition between French and English actually works rather well. So um, I'll give credit for that. Um, I think that there's obviously a performance there and that and I think um, they need to take that idea and that and just translate it and maybe with a few tweaks um, they need to come up with a proper performance now in Tel Aviv and I'm hoping they don't screw it up because France has a bit of a reputation for not having the greatest staging going but they need to they need to work out a good way on how to present this now on a much bigger stage because sometimes I feel like some of these performances work on a really small stage but when it comes to the big event it doesn't work as well and I think they need to work on that however looking at the performance that I saw here it's it's pretty good the vocals do need improving um, Bilal's vo uh, vocals at the moment are fairly solid but they need more work on it and I think between now and May that is going to be the primary focus and then just get those vocals, get more power in that voice and that because, I mean, we've got a few months a bit more vocal training I think that might help Okay, so I'm going to score this before this uh, video runs um, forever. Um, vocals, um, they're good but they need improvements. Um, I can't say it's the strongest of singers at the moment but with a few tweaks it might help. So because of that I'm going to give it a 7. Um, the song, um, it's a good empowering anthem, the idea of you know you can't break me down, this is who I am and if you don't like it tough shit sort of thing and accept me for who I am that sort of empowering type song and um, it has a good flow to it um, the instrumentation is pretty nice on it so I'm going to but it's not a huge favourite of mine I must admit um, so at the moment I'm going to give it a 7 as well and the staging is where the points do come in and I think the um, I think the staging was done pretty well at the moment and that as well. Um, so I'm gonna give the staging a 10. And so with that, France, um, as of now, you receive 24 points from me. So one down, one to go. Um, Czech Republic's uh, winner should be known in maybe an hour or so. Um, it, you know, I'd say maybe an hour and ten minutes, so hopefully later on I should be able to record my reaction to the winner's performance, which which sounds really weird in a way because I've technically already reacted to the songs, but I've only done it in sort of small snippets, so at least then I can go fully through the song and then give it a score and whatnot and then add it to the list. So, um, so other than that, um, I'll see you soon.